Hi there, Surfact Hunt and all the rest of you good people out there. I hope that you're all safe and sound and that health is with you. Uh, regarding your question on uh, uh, triangular uh, patch uh, kind of surface and uh, how to create that, I think I described that on the forum. However, you had a follow-up question. I thought I'd just uh, record an AVI or movie to, uh, to show the process. Uh, so, what we have here is we got these two sheets, uh, uh, this one and this one coming together. They're perfectly joined up here, but they're coming together in one corner. And, and we need the transition between this corner and the arch curve here. Now, the arch curve here is a bridge between uh, the edge on that surface and that surface, uh, meaning that and its curvature uh, continuity when it uh, joins here, meaning that it's going to release from this surface down here in a way that it's going to be difficult to get that curvature going when it runs out to that edge point there. So you need a, a little bit of wiggle room there. You need to uh, give some space for the system to work on. Otherwise, it will be difficult to obtain that uh, uh, nice transition there with curvature continuity. So, uh, this is one version of what I would uh, consider doing, uh, having looked at this, and uh, uh, let's kick it off. So, uh, first we need to kind of fill this surface up with something that is curvature to this and curvature to that. And uh, I simply do that by using a studio surface. So I'm going to walk from, or get from that surface to that surface. And we're going to have curvature and curvature. So they're going to be curvature continuity between all these surfaces. Now, we got that done. We're going to hide that. Uh, we need an ad additional uh, bridge curve. And I'm going to do a bridge curve from this curve uh, or edge to this edge. And let's say, um, let's say 60. And let's say uh, 60 to be equal on that. Of course, you can get something that is uh, more uh, equal to, to this curve, and maybe that will look better. But uh, this is, I'm, go I'm good with this for now. Let's say the tangent magnitude there is going to be one on both of them as well. And in addition, I'm going to use this surface to uh, project the, the curve and make sure it's on that uh, face. And uh, with that said, I'm also going to trim that off. I uh, use trim sheets. So I'm going to trim with that curve. And we're going to hide the curve. So here's the base for that corner, meaning we now have a good starting point for, for to create this transi transition in, in a good way. Uh, I will also sew these uh, sheets together. And uh, so they now form a, a single sheet body. And uh, in my case, I will do a curve offset uh, from these curves here uh, on the sheet body there, two millimeters. That will, I assume, give me enough wiggle room. The more wiggle room, kind of the better the surface, but uh, it depends on the kind of design situation, I guess. So surface, and we're going to trim that off as well with that curve. And we're going to hide the curve. We don't need that anymore. Now we now have a good setup for creating that surface. In this case, I'm going to use a studio surface. So I'm going to create a studio surface from that edge to uh, that curve. Sorry, I'm not going to do a cross there. I'm actually going to do uh, two of, of the sections there. There we go. And it's going to be a position on the second one there. And in this case, I do an arc length, and it all depends on your alignment of that surface. But an arc length, is, since they are kind of similar uh, length, uh, this will be fine, I believe. Uh, otherwise, if you need more control, you need to do that as a through curves. Okay, let's create that. Uh, maybe we want to sew it together, let's say, and we're going to analyze that. Uh, we're going to analyze with the reflections, and we're going to do all of the faces there. 
And this is what we get. So I think that this is in the lines what you're after. And I hope it helps in your future endeavors. And that's all uh, from me for now. So I hope that you, all you good people out there, stay safe and sound. And above all, that you're staying healthy. And with that, I'm going to leave you and uh, wish you a uh, to have a, a nice weekend. Over and out from Fred. Bye for now.